one. Um, you know, we mentioned uh, <coughs> penguins, ladies and gentlemen, and I love seeing you interact with animals. Um, and I thought, well, let's find out if we could bring some animals here into the studio. And we like to keep the studio chilly anyway, but you might notice it's a little chillier than normal because <laughs> we do have some special friends to bring out to meet you. I uh, know you haven't, I don't think, here's the thing, you may have met these penguins in the wild, I don't know. <laughs> they might recognise you. <laughs> Do you get that? You ever go to the zoo and a monkey looks at you and think, I met you yeah, in there. Yes, uh, I yeah, have. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, what are you doing here? <laughs> uh, okay, let's bring them out. Their names are, one's called Charlie and the other, unfortunately for me, is called Fawawi. Okay. <laughs> here they come. Okay, look, I've got a buzzer, so they think I'm going to give them some fish, so I'm going to give them some fish now. Would you like some fish? Okay. David, would you like to give them a fish? Yeah. M mind your fingers, because they're yeah. big, so razor sharp. Here, look, do you give them... Whoa, look at that. Okay. Who are... Daniel, have you ever met a penguin? No. Do you want to come out and meet a penguin? Yeah. Okay, come on, I'll get the... Hold oh, out. <laughs> it's I've got a fish. No, come out and... Oh, okay, okay. Let's have one. Who wants one? Oh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'll get another one for you. Okay, don't peck me. Oh, Look, nice. Daniel, you How want to give... Doing? Want to give one a fish? Yeah. <laughs> oh, what are you? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now we're fighting, ladies and I'll tell you what. No, no, I'll no, give no. one to you, Noel. Yeah. I don't even... <laughs> Give him, give him a fishy. I was actually raised by penguins. <laughs> <laughs> David, could you tell us this penguin, where is this sort of penguin found normally? This is a Magellanic penguin from South America, the far wow. south of South America. I've only got one left, dudes. The ones we're making about is about, the, are about that twice the size of these. I pulled this one in half, so they're half each. Who wants to you are. This is Ch it's One's got an arm. Charlie no. here's got an arm. Hey, that's a smaller fish now. Yeah, <laughs> Oh, I don't know whether I can do that quite close enough. No, you, it's him. Here's his one. Yeah. No, oh! he's got the one. <laughs> David, I think I might need your expert touch getting them back into their, their box. Would you mind, would that you mind leaving them off? Like a box. <laughs> would you? <laughs> so, before you go, ladies and gentlemen, will you join me in saying thank you and show your appreciation to the remarkable <laughs> boy. Daniel, you take one. Yeah, right, this way. This way. Uh, so, there you go. Let's go. Hey, we're going this way, man. Come on, Come on, Come on. Come on. Right. Go back there. Go and speak to Seal. <laughs> That's why they don't want to go back there. You know, there's a Seal there. <laughs> well done. All right. Hey, I just realised uh, that doesn't feel fair because I brought Noel out and he didn't get you, didn't get a chance to say hi. <laughs> Noel, really well done. Wow. How great you look. That it shouldn't work on anyone but Kate Moss, and yet you're pulling it off. I Although, know. please keep your knees together, because we don't want to see this down on the <laughs> It's kind of a fabric waist crotch. As I was coming on, I walked past the penguins. I went, was that all right for you? And they went, we prefer Graham Norton. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're a very unique individual, Noel Fielding. Oh, thank you. You've always had this confidence to, to be yourself in this way, have you? Yeah. I guess so, yeah. Because I've always seen you dress like this, but it's a kind of a bold... It's a look back and it's a kind of look forward at the same time. Does that make sense? I'm the future and the past combined. <laughs> <laughs> but not quite as good as either of those. <laughs> uh, you're a brilliant comedian, and not, not everyone would get it straight away, I don't think, because when I first saw The Bush, it took me like a series yeah. to kind of get where you come from. Do you encounter that a lot, that people have to get, get used to you, get used to the idea and where you're coming from? It's a bit like a difficult album, you know? It's like Captain Beefheart or something. You have to sort of... You, when you first hear Captain Beefheart, you think, come on, you're, you've got to be mucking about. Yeah, this is nonsense. <laughs> There's this no way work. someone paid you to do this. <laughs> you're and out then, of your mind. And then... But then, all of a sudden, about 17 years later... <laughs> it's kind of taken a while, I suppose, hasn't it? <laughs> the beach took about five years. Me and Julian <laughs> were just there going, come on, please! <laughs> please, someone catch up. I don't know. Uh, do you miss working with Julian? Is this it for the bush for now, or are you going to come back? Do you know what's happening there? I do miss working with him, actually. Doing this show is really difficult because he's such a great performer, and he sort of carried the bush, you know? So when I did this show, I had to carry it, and um, yeah. it's difficult, you This know? show is called Lu uh, Noel Fielding's Luxury Comedy. Yeah. OK, and it's not your average comedy show, as you would expect from Noel. How many characters do you play? How many were in the series? Mm, I don't know, actually, a lot. <laughs> about, I played so many that... Um, I played about 50 or something, but I played so many, and we did all the characters at the same time, so we did three or four a day. So by the time we went back to the studio, where I was playing a sort of version of myself... But is that, that's the version of yourself there? Yeah. 
Okay, that, and that's quite some look. <laughs> what are you wearing on your head there? <laughs> I don't know, I look like a medieval fireman. <laughs> it, you kinda, it looks a bit like the arse end of a chicken on your head. <laughs> I don't know, babe. I was so confused because I played all these characters. You're so, confused. I know. <laughs> but when I came to play myself, I had to ask the director. I went, he went, what are you doing? Just play yourself. And I went, which one am I? <laughs> <laughs> Who are your favourite characters from the new list? Do you have favourites from this new bunch of weird things? Yeah, there's a sort of New York cop who's um, <laughs> he's got a knife wound on his arm and two bullet holes and it talks to him. And over the years it's become his partner. And he's called, uh, he's called Raymond Boombox. And uh, <laughs> he's like, New York cop, I'm Raymond Boombox. And he's gash, he's got talking gash. And he goes, Sarge, come on, you got to nail this guy. <laughs> he's like, shut up. And he feeds it meatballs. <laughs> And one of the great things about this country is uh, not only is he allowed out, but also <laughs> someone put up the money to bring that character to life on screen. Would you like to see Inspector Boombox? <laughs> I'm warning you, even with that description, it's still weird. Okay? <laughs> Here's Inspector Boombox. I'm Sergeant Raymond Boombox. As you may or may not know, in 1975, I received a knife wound in the line of duty. A knife wound that started talking to me. And occasionally help me solve cases. Helped you on some of your cases? I solved most of them, you fat son of a bitch! Shut up, you freak! I'm trying to put you in some kind of goddamn context. Anyway, one of the most exciting cases we worked on was when we were in Miami undercover. Hooper, what was the name of that case? What do you mean, the one where you're wearing the uh, pink salmon shorts? You look ridiculous, you big fat pumpkin ass sticking out. You picked those out for me! What were you wearing anyway, your wife's skirt? It was a sarong, actually, and it was your wife's. <laughs> I predict an immediate cult following. <laughs> Inspector Boombox, just one of something like 50 characters in this new yeah, series? Yeah, there's a lot of characters. There's a chocolate finger who's a PE teacher. Cool to it. <laughs> oh, there he is. He's called Roy Circles. And, uh, he was in the war, he got shell shock, so he, I think he was a games teacher at some point, but he slightly lost his mind. He plays uh, swing ball. <laughs> on his own, because his wife died and they used to play tennis together, so he wears her dress and plays swing ball. <laughs> Just trying to recreate some of those hours together. <laughs> he's, like, he's quite a poignant character. He's a tragic actually. and powerful and moving character. He is, The yeah. chocolate finger. The fact that he's a chocolate finger. He's by the bar. It's not even real. You probably don't have a convincing answer for this, but what, what, where do you come up with an idea Ooh. like that? And why do you come up with an idea like that? <laughs> what is the... Were you eating a chocolate finger at the time, or just... I guess I was brought up on Peter... Oh, I loved Peter Kirk and I loved Spike Milligan and I loved Python. I think I like a lot of those comedians. And then when the Bush came out, we were grossly out of fashion. Um, it was very... a lot of realist, you know, realism and uh, The Office was big and stuff. And we were just... we were so out of fashion. I think probably now I'm out of fashion with television in general. It's very reality-based now and this is kind of very crafted show you know that's taken best, years. The best stuff is out of fashion. You know, Sir David Attenborough, and you may or may not know this, he was the controller of BBC Two for many years and it was under his watch that Monty Python was commissioned. This is right, isn't it, Sir David? Yes. yes. And, and that was not a hit straight out of the trap, was it? No. Would you have gone with the show in which a chocolate finger... Uh, <laughs> Play swing ball, but as tribute to a, a dearly departed loved one. I, I think I would have asked some people in their 18 or 20s whether they would go. For that's the way forward, uh, and that's see. kind of where your main fan base is, I exactly. guess. Exactly. Uh, you can see that it's on E4 starting next Thursday, and that's the kind of Channel 4 uh, Plus thing, isn't it? E4. Yeah. It's the wildest stuff they do. Uh, I'm looking forward, to it and I hope it's as big a hit for you eventually as the Bush proved to be. I hope it hits uh, even quicker there. Because uh, would you tour with them? Would you take this character? I'd out? love to. Yeah, you, because be it's a lot of animation. It'd be fun to try and yeah. work out how to do that okay. live. We're going to take a commercial break. Ladies and gentlemen, I will still be chatting to the fabulous Noel Fielding after this. We've got music from Seal. Don't go away. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, the fabulous Noel Fielding is still with us, ladies and gentlemen. Did you see, I don't know if you saw this, Noel took part in the Comic Relief, uh, the, the, was it called Let's Dance for Comic Relief? I think it's it was. called Let's Dance, uh, yeah. where, where Noel appeared as, would you inform everyone? Kate Bush. Kate Bush, ladies and gentlemen. And you made a very good Kate Bush, I thought. 